everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another entire history of video. Today we're doing a very requested family, the Villarreal family. And again, I thought, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. They've only been in one version of the game in one town. They're not that big. How deep can it go? I've got 1,600 words just as my script, so... Let's get into it. So they are a pre-made family from Windenburg, which is part of the Get Together expansion. Great expansion, very underrated. And it's a beautiful place. They're very, very rich as well. They live in the Von Windenburg estate, which is a sectioned off part of Windenburg on a big island. And they have 65 Somalians to start with. So they loaded. And then the family bio is a little bit sketchy. It states that after Jack's wife disappeared under <coughs> mysterious circumstances that's what it says on the thing i'm not adding in that ahem for comedic effect he was left raising three kids in an enormous mansion weird flex but okay luna and hugo are good kids with typical teen problems but the youngest max is a terrifying force of nature well the kids drive jacks i'm gonna have to actually google how you pronounce that shock shock I've called him Jack's all the time. Anyway, well, the kids drive Jack crazy before his eccentric habits and hobbies drive them crazy. Ooh, so we've got a lot to decipher. To crack this and to find out what happened to the wife, I'm gonna start talking about each of the family members in depth. So Jack is the head of the household and he's not a good man. Let me just start off by saying that. He's level nine of the criminal career. His traits kind of suit this, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he's erratic, childish, a genius and dastardly. What a lovely man. Marriage material. His aspiration is also a public enemy. So, I mean, at least he's consistent, you know? In that sense, at least. Because the only skills he's gained throughout his entire time in this career is nine points in logic, but nothing else and he's on level zero of his aspiration. So is he just good at like fluking his way at the top? I don't think so, to be honest. I think this is probably an oversight with the developers. I think they just cheated his skills up and didn't actually play with the family. Clubs were also brought in with get together. So obviously this family is very, very into clubs since they are in Windenburg. He is the leader of the Knights of the Hedge Club, whose description states that, we proud knights serve no master, but are pleased to wander the fair gardens of our chalet. I'll touch more upon this later, so I'll keep your eyes and ears peeled. He's also part of the Good Timers Club, who says that everyone can be a good timer, you just need to appreciate a good drink and a game of foosball among friends. So, oh, cute. And his friends mainly all stem from these two clubs that he's involved in. The family bio states that he's got eccentric habits and hobbies, but like, where? Wandering around a hedge, having a couple of drinks. Not bad a scent, Rick, Jack, right? We all like a pint. But it just kind of adds to his mysteriousness because I think this is more referring to his whole criminal career and his shady entire history. His bedroom's also rather bare, which I find a little bit weird considering they live in an actual mansion. But to be fair to the guy, it is a really big room and he aren't the best at filling rooms. Like we've established this. <laughs> so all in all, Jack, is a pretty bad guy. I'm not finished talking about him yet though. I'm gonna bring him up again towards the end when we talk about theories. Luna and Hugo are the two teens in the family. They both have got the same amount of time until they age up in adults, which could potentially make them twins. I don't think that they are. I think, again, this is just laziness on EA's part. I think they were made in Create Sim at the same time. Out of these two, I'm gonna talk about Luna first. She is referred to as a good kid with typical teenage problems. And that, to be honest, just about suits her. That'd be her in a nutshell. She's just your basic rich girl, I think. She's romantic, childish, and gregarious, and a lifetime aspiration is to be a friend of the world. Oh, And she's doing decently average at school with a grade C, so she's not a star at school, but she's not bad. But her character values aren't that great. She lacks manners and responsibility, which could come from being rich. Not to generalize all rich people, but that could potentially come from being rich. But I think the more likely situation is that it comes from having Jack as a dad. He doesn't really seem to be the best role model or father, and the rest of her character traits aren't that great either. In fact, the barely even there. So yeah. She's also part of the Paragons, which are quite an elite group. The bio states that it takes work to look this good. Perfection isn't easy, but everyone needs someone to look up to. That's why we have the Paragons. I can feel the bullying just through that statement. But their club activities are be mean to the renegades, drink coffee and try on outfits. So basically she's just a popular girl in high school. And her bedroom really, really reflects this as well. Everything that can be pink is pink. She's very, very girly. But there is a cause for contention here because a little brother Max, who we'll talk about in a little while, he's also part of the opposing group to the Paragons who are called the Renegades. So this kind of causes awkwardness between the two. Obviously, you know, if someone's in the opposing group as yet. I don't know though, because even if my sister was in the complete opposite group, like my sister is as chavvy as the comb and I am not as chavvy as the comb. 
but we're still mates, you know, so don't let politics get in the way of family. That's just my statement. That wasn't necessary, but there we go. So that is basically Luna. I mean, yeah, she's popular and yeah, she probably is a bit of a mean girl, but all in all, she's all right. She's just a typical teenage girl. And then next is Hugo. He kind of makes my heart melt. I'm not gonna lie. He does not fit into this family at all. He dreams of becoming a master chef, a little on Gordon Ramsay, even though none of his aspirations completed, which again, EA, you get lazy, you slacking, babe. But Hugo's doing all right at school. Same as his sister, he's got a grade C. His cooking skill is up to a level seven, so you go, Hugo. His traits are also foodie, loner, and essence of flavor, so he's not doing too bad. And he just seems like a cute guy who doesn't fit in with his family. <laughs> God bless his soul. Oh, I love Hugo. And as for his character values, they're pretty much the same as Luna's with a lack of responsibility and manners and the rest aren't great either. In fact, they're barely there. And again, I think this stems from having a criminal as his father. Not really the best thing to learn your values off and a missing mother. So he's got a lack of other parental influence to guide him, but he still seems to be doing good. And his groups are the upper crusts and the avant-garde, which suit his personality quite well. I can see him, he, yeah, he belongs there. He might not belong in this family, but he belongs there. And his room is also pretty basic as well. He's got quite bright colors, probably the most colorful room in the house, but it's also quite a bit of a mess. Luna and Hugo are just typical teenagers, I think. Everybody's room is a little bit messy as a teenager. But he's the only one out of all the siblings who have a computer which I think is a bit weird I'd have thought Luna would have had a computer so she could you know rat a tat tat away to her friends on MSN or whatever I think I've just stepped back into like 2006 what am I even on about and then lastly Max Villarreal <laughs> So you've probably seen him bopping about, bullying your kids in Willow Creek. I have come across Max Villarreal a lot. In terms of his aspiration and skills, he's doing good. He's actually all right. He's got that motor aspiration and he's on level six of his motor skill. That's good. But unfortunately, there is a downside to this. Max is basically the spawn of Satan and I'm not saying that lightly. He's evil, he lacks empathy really badly, but unlike the others, he has a little bit of responsibility, which is mad. <laughs> He's also doing worse at school than his siblings with a grade D. So come on, Max, step it up. Like I said earlier, He's part of the Renegades, along with Ulrich, Morgan, and Wolfgang Munch. Probably butchered all of them names, but you don't come here for pronunciations, do you? So let's just move on. So the Renegades, their bio states that want to make friends, want to be popular, too bad. The first rule of the Renegades is that you don't talk about the Renegades. All right, fight club. And their goals are being mean to the Paragons, mischievous to everyone, and sabotage objects. The room is also very dark and littered with skulls, which is kind of normal. My room was as a teenager as well, because I was such a emo. All in all, with all of his other traits, like someone get this kid a counselor. I think he could still be saved. So that's the family. They might be rich. They might have a big, massive house. They might have beautiful things, but they also have a lot of issues. Mom Money, more problems. That's just what they say to poor people to keep them in line. God, when is this late state capitalism gonna fail? So moving on, the main plot with this family is the wife. And I haven't even spoke about it yet, apart from in the introduction. So you might be thinking, wherefore art thou? Wifey, are you coming? But I'm gonna try and solve that. I'm gonna try and solve where is she? Where is she at? Belagoth 2.0, we're coming for you. We don't even know a name. And unfortunately, The Sims 4 is basically The Sims 2 Lite edition. So it doesn't come with any memory systems. So we can see what happened to Sims in the past. We've got to just basically piece it together and decide for ourselves. So this story is still very open and even my own opinions on it can easily be changed because there's no memory systems. There's no hard fact to prove. It is just all theory. So yeah. So what I'm gonna be doing with this is referencing some fan theories and then building upon this with my own research that I've conducted. I'm literally talking like I'm about to crack the case of the century, like I'm a proper scientist or lawyer or something, but just let me have my moment, all right? I don't leave the house much, so this is my only entertainment. So one fan theory that I've read is that Max killed his mom. The kid is disturbed, right? That much is true. He's evil, he got no empathy, and his profile kind of fits, but this is a child. I don't think he's done it. Nothing really points towards this. I just think he's a bit, got some issues. The main fan theory is that Jack done it. His profile also fits, even more so. He's a criminal, and a good criminal at that, right? He's probably got a lot of experience hiding evidence and hiding it well, so. Just saying. And the, also the description of the family kind of references towards Jack as well with the whole, his wife disappeared under 
um, mysterious circumstances. That kind of shows his guilt. So I'm gonna take this theory of Jack and build on it. So regarding the murder of his wife, there is a link I've found that I don't think anybody else has found. But if someone else has found this, then credit to them. I just haven't seen it. Luna and Hugo are also saved from this, so I'm just gonna ax them out of this story. And I'm mainly focusing on Jack and Max. So Max is still kind of involved in this, but you will see for why. So after reading the family bio and studying the house, I don't think that Jack likes his family. And what shows this, you might ask? Well, Max is a really rambunctious kid. He's level six of the motor skill, but there's nothing for this in the garden. It's not like they live in a tiny house and they can't fit climbing frame in. They have huge amounts of land that they could easily fit something in for him. And yeah, he could swim, but there's enough room for kids' toys. There's no kids' toys anywhere in the house. The only thing resembling kids toys is a don't wake the llama game which is in the back garden. This kind of makes me think that because it's in the back garden and not in the kids rooms or the living room or even the spare bedroom upstairs that nobody's using. I think this is because Jack doesn't want to be near his kids. He wants his kids out. He can't stand spending time near his kids so he's put any toy in the back garden. But this doesn't necessarily mean that he wants to murder his wife and I'm willing to see that. But there's four people in this family right? Five including his missing wife. So that would mean that four bedrooms are needed but this is a five bedroom property this is literally a spare bedroom right next to jack's room i think that this was his wife's bedroom and there was some problems in the marriage maybe she didn't want a husband to be a criminal anymore she wanted a better life for her kids and jack's isn't the most i keep calling him jack's jack isn't the most rational man. So I think this may have led to some altercations. One thing that also points this as well is that there is a cellar in the house near the kitchen. And once you go downstairs in the cellar, you can see a bar and some tools, which I think I might just be odd, but I think that this is a weird place to have both things together. There's literally like a set, a, a TV, some tools and a bar. I don't think it's a good thing to have the tools next to a bar anyway, because if you're gonna get drunk, you might reach for the, I wouldn't personally, because I can control myself. Jack might not, because he's eccentric and he's erratic. So what I think happened is Jack had too much to drink. The tools were right there. He was arguing with his wife and he accidentally or purposefully killed her. Accidentally or purposefully is still up for grabs. But I don't think he was alone in this. I don't think he was, is it rogue? I don't think he was a rogue killer. I don't know. So this brings Max in the story. Max is the only child in the Renegades, which I think is a bit weird, but okay, we'll move on from that. Another member of the Renegades is Wolfgang. Wolfgang is also a member of the Knights of Hedge Club, which Jack is the leader of. Getting a bit suspicious. Wolfgang also has very little empathy and is also mean, gloomy and dastardly. So this would show that Wolfgang and Jack both know each other and they both kind of have the same things in common. So my guess is that Jack killed his wife. He enlisted the help of Wolfgang to move her body but Wolfgang was with Max at the time. All three of them took the wife to the chalet gardens which they both would have known very well from the Knights of the Hedge Club and buried a body there and because Max was there Max saw and I think he was already a really rebellious kid but this pushed him over the edge. This removed all of his empathy kind of broke him and that's why he's so bad now. And I did search the chalet gardens and there were no gravestones or anything like that but there was some ghosts lingering about and I did get a bit excited and I did think oh my god it's her it's cracked, it's cracked. But no, they're just Victorian ghosts, which all ghosts are Victorian if you think about it, aren't they? If you think of all like ghost stories. But I'm not gonna let this disprove my theory because do I trust EA to really follow this plot through and place a gravestone and make a ghost and have the Villarreal's wife there? Nah. I don't. So just because she's not there doesn't mean that this is false. Because I don't think EA are as committed to the storylines as they would have been in The Sims 2. So I'm sticking with my story. That's what I think. Please let me know what you think down below. I actually like researched a lot of this and came my own conclusions a lot instead of just telling you the information. So let me know what you think about it. If Jack did kill his wife and enlisted the health of Wolfgang. Because he's a very suspicious character. So I think so. So I'm going to end it here. This is also a full playlist. I have a lot of other videos like this. So I'll leave it at the end if you want to go see it and I'll see you in my next one. See you after.